And then secondly, I want to follow up with you on the vaccine. If the FDA gives emergency authorization to the Pfizer or Moderna vaccine in the coming weeks, will you get vaccinated? And if you're hesitant, why should any American have confidence in the vaccine? Well, first of all, um, uh, we'll see if that comes forward. And secondly, it's important that people who are in the greatest need get it. I wouldn't hesitate to get the vaccine. But I also want to set uh, um, an example. Uh, and, uh, but I, I wouldn't hesitate to get the vaccine if, in fact, Dr. Dr. Fauci and these two organizations, whether it's Moderna or Pfizer, who have been extremely responsible, conclude that it is, uh, it is safe and, uh, and, and able to be done. Look, the only reason people question the vaccine now is because of Donald Trump. That's the reason why people are questioning the vaccine, because all the things he says and doesn't say, whether it's is it truthful, is it not truthful, the exaggerations. I think we're on a clear path now. We're on a clear path where the international community and national leaders uh, in the scientific community have focused on these two vaccines. They appear to be ready for prime time, ready to be used. And if that in continues along those roads, I would take the vaccine. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. President-elect. You have been urging the American public to continue practicing social distancing and wearing a mask, but with cases skyrocketing across the country, do you think that more governors should be closing non-essential businesses and reinstating stay-at-home orders? Look, uh, it depends on the state. What I, what I failed to mention earlier is the, uh, um, the enormous respect I have for Republican, conservative Republican governors who stepped up and issued mandates for wearing masks in North Dakota. Uh, you know, I mean, the idea, uh, one of the leaders in this area has been the Republican governor, Republican, and Republican governor in Ohio. Um, and uh, in addition to the folks who have already been leading, like the governor of, of Michigan, I mean, you know, the idea that uh, President's now existing, remaining uh, advisor on COVID is saying that uh, the, they should resist. What the hell's the matter with these guys? What is the matter with them? Resist. And, you know, every major individual of any consequence in the health field is saying we can save, we can save 100,000 lives just between now and January 21st by wearing these masks. It's going to take a while for the vaccine to be able to be available, distributed, and get to people. We're talking about 350 to 400,000 people dying? I mean, what are they doing? It's totally irresponsible. Irresponsible. And so I compliment the governors who stepped forward, who have been stepping forward, but also the Republican governors who stepped forward. I, I, I left out the governor of Utah, very conservative state, Governor of North Dakota, and all the Democratic governors have been doing it all along. I mean, it's, it, it's, it's uh, I, I just ask a rhetorical question. Do you guys understand this? Does anybody understand why a governor would turn this into a political statement? It's about patriotism. It's about being patriotic. It's about saving lives, for real. I'm not, this is not hyperbole. It's about being patriotic. And I think you're seeing more and more as this god-awful virus continues to spread almost unabated that uh, we, uh, that governors are stepping up.